is up guys and welcome back to the show everybody's freaking out is tiktok shutting down is it not shutting down what's going on hey here's the deal you don't have to worry about if it shuts down or not get on my youtube page get on my instagram page get on my twitter page get on my triller page everything is going to be billy visco and hey on this before we start go ahead and hit that subscribe button put your notifications on i've got my two daughters sitting behind the camera they're going to ask me some uh, more tough questions today just about being a dad in today's world i don't know what they're going to throw at me i really don't if you guys didn't see the last one definitely go check out was i a mistake you guys hear this? Oh my word, was I a mistake? Do you even know how babies are born to be asking a question like that? But, hey, let's get this thing started. All right, who started off? Drew McKenna. So these questions are a little bit different. They're not like embarrassing or anything. They're not embarrassing questions? They're not funny. Oh, man. They're more like kind of advice, I guess. Advice so, questions. Yeah. All right, all right. Well, yeah. hey, you know me, I'm down worry. for anything. I don't shy away from nothing. My kids can ask me anything and I answer. Start it off, what you got for me? Are you scared to walk us down the aisle? Ooh, man. If you guys know a wedding procession, dad walks his daughter down the aisle. Y'all know the question that they ask dad? Who gives this bride away? Yes, that scares me to death to answer that question because I'm going to have to say her mother and I do. Holy cow. Here's my answer for that. Yes, I'm going to say it because that's what I'm supposed to say, but know that I'm never giving y'all away. I'm going to, I trust you guys and your decisions. So whoever your husband is, I know we'll know him. I know we'll love him. He'll be my family. So I guess I have to say yes to that question. Does it scare me? Heck yeah, it scares the crap out of me. But I'm gonna be happy. I'm gonna be bawling like a baby. Okay. Drew, what you got? Is it hard to have teenagers or what's the hardest part? If you don't answer is it hard, like you have to just say the hardest part even if you don't think it's hard. No, it is definitely not hard having two teenagers. I mean, Kenna is, you'll be 12 in August. I mean, so she's right there behind you guys. Um, and very mature for her age, but Drew and Darian, it is a blast to have two teenagers. I've been told, you know, just wait, just wait till your kid hits. I, true story. I'm not going to say who said it because it was somebody close to the family, but everybody knows we have great, great kids. Actually, more than one person has said this to me, very close to the family. You know, they're, they're good kids now, but just wait, just wait till they hit their teenage years and you'll see. And we have never had nothing but love for each other. What scares me the most is I think when y'all leave the house, I just want y'all to know that my house will always, I'm gonna get emotional on this one. We went from like being embarrassed from questions to I'm gonna start crying. The hardest part of having a teenager when we move out. is when you move out. I thought you meant like every time we go out, you get scared. No, <laughs> no, no, I, you know me, that's already started. That's already started. For those of y'all don't know, Drew had a first date. I'm gonna embarrass her before she embarrasses me. Hard for guys to understand girls. Why is it hard for guys to understand girls? Man, if I knew the answer to that question, I could probably, I wouldn't be as confused about girls. Here's my thoughts over my learning experience. Guys and girls are so, so different. It is so crazy. And I think that's what you have to realize is we are so different. We are so different. But once you learn, that's why that five love language book is so good. You need to learn that. That will help you a little bit with the opposite sex if you really are trying to get closer to that person and find out what they like. Find out their likes, their loves, their hobbies because we're so different. Once you break those barriers down, that will help you guys. But that's why I preach communication. So many things get lost in translation. Y'all know my number one thing I preach on TikTok, my videos, communication and love. When you have those two things, Yes, it, things can be confusing, but you can work anything out from there. Girls' minds, wow, I can't, it just goes 99 miles an hour, and guys' minds are a little slower. We're just a little more just laid back at pace, and we get somewhere just lost in translation. But if you remember communication, love, read your five love language book, find out what's your partner, uh, what they're into, and that will change the game for everybody. <laughs> Who's your favorite kid? Who's my favorite no, no, no. kid? Who's your favorite kid when no, we were younger? Who's, your favorite kid? who's my favorite kid when when we when y'all were younger? Yes. Let me think who the easiest baby. I'll tell you straight up. Kenna was the toughest baby we had. And that was because you were so colicky. That means you cried the most at night. You cried and you cried and you cried some more. Now don't get me wrong, there were nights when Darian cried and Drew cried, but you cried, like I said, the most out of the babies. It still wasn't bad. 
But so out of the out of the three babies, you were the toughest baby. My favorite kid is. Are y'all ready? All of you. Really, the dogs. The dogs are my favorite. Here's I'll, I'll tell y'all a quick story. Blake, I know you do a good job of editing and keep me in, in control because I can get to rambling real fast. So do your thing. I need an editor. Get with my guy. Put his stuff up there so you can see him. He is incredible. Favorite kid story. Obviously, when when Lindsay was first pregnant with our first baby, y'all know I play football. Um, I played so soccer and football in college. I played professional indoor football. I love sports. So obviously, you know, part of me is like, come on, I'm rooting for a boy. I'm rooting for a boy just because of the sports aspect. Not knowing that you got one of the best athletes sitting right back here is one of the best dancers but as a guy you just always think man I want that athlete sure enough I got my boy so I was fired up so I'm thinking okay that's that's my guy that's my guy that's my guy your next baby comes along and it's a girl your whole life changes I can't explain it but as a dad as a guy find out you're having a baby girl something is just it, it hits different when I found out we were pregnant with our third you know, because then we're like, oh man, what's a girl, a guy, girl, a guy? And we find out it's another girl. I found myself wondering how in the world I felt like I was going to be cheating on Drew. That's how it felt. It was like, how am I going to share my love for this girl that I have given everything to? Because like I said, guys and girls, when you have a when you have a son, you have a daughter, it's totally different. And then you have that second girl, it's like, I feel like I'm going to be cheating on her. And you have that girl and she comes to your life. Your heart literally gets bigger for the both of them. And you guys are all my 100% favorite. That is not a lie. That is not a because y'all are sitting behind the camera. All right, so hope that answered that. It was just a fun little story, backstory on all that stuff. What else you got? <laughs> Why do you like it showing skin? Why dads don't like that? It's a respect thing. I know as a guy, I know how guys look at girls. I think the thought of looking at, you know, a guy looking at my daughter like that in a disrespectful way will make me want to fight them. I don't like to fight people, so I don't want a misperception. Just because somebody sees my daughter showing a lot of skin, I don't want them thinking that my daughter is some type of way that she is not. I'm not real strict with you guys on that. I mean, obviously I'm like, sometimes I'm like, okay, shorts are real tight, pull them down just a little bit. Crop tops, I don't have any. I mean, we work hard on our abs around here, so hey, I'm all about, uh, you know, showing abs. I um, think that's why dads have a problem with it because they know how guys look at females. If dads would just be real with it, that's a learning lesson. Quit disrespecting females. If you see a female that's that's like that, quit disrespecting that because somebody could be looking at your daughter like that. What you got? I need a funny one right now. That was a good one too, though. Do you know the difference between S and R tampons? S and R? Um, I had a guest. S and R, uh, do we have a strong flow and a regular flow? Wait, yeah. Is it? It's like super and regular. Super and regular, yes. I, I mean, we got we got heavy flow and we got regular flow. Usually people think that was like small. I thought it was No, regular. it doesn't have anything to do with necessarily, you. I mean, it, it could. It's probably thicker. Right, but it's... <laughs> It's for the it's for the flow. Yeah, it's, not um, like it's for the flow. It's not for the size that. of the female necessarily. <laughs> um, it is. Maybe I just found out, but that's not what it is. Ah, it's see, we're happen. learning. This is all a learning process. Hey, maybe some of you guys are learning, but see, Dad, that's that's pretty on top of it. This one's pretty obvious. What do you think of tattoos? What do I think of tattoos? I can't stand them. I think they're a disgrace and they're disrespectful, and you should never get a tattoo ever. Sight. Oh! I think tattoos are awesome. Now, I think there are negative tattoos, obviously, you can because they are permanent on your body and you get something disrespectful that can definitely change somebody's outlook on you. But, uh, you know, I chose to go the story of my life is, uh, you know, you guys are, my kids are on here, my wife is on here, my church, my God, my family, you guys. Hashtag bring it in are on here. I think when you do that, when something is near and dear to your heart, because you know, we talk about the Bible and we talk about the body being the temple for Jesus. So this is my Jesus right here and it's everything that he's given me. Always keep that in mind. If you get a tattoo, it's permanent. You get something respectful, something meaningful. Do you think someone should get one since like they're permanent? Um, that's a good question. I have no problems. I feel um, as long as you're of legal age, I have no problems with a 16-year-old getting a tattoo. Why are dads so disapproving of guys? 
Why are dad? I know because you you know I'm I'm not. This goes back again to guys being disrespectful to girls. They know that they are thinking they don't want somebody to be disrespectful to their girl. Like, are you actually sad about this girl? Oh man, it's tough because I always, I see you guys, of course it makes me so excited, I'm glad to watch you guys grow up and become little adults. You know, McKenna had a friend that was going to spend the night last night and she didn't ask us because it was uh, my wife and I's anniversary and for her to think of that at an 11 years old is a very, very grown up responsible thing. That makes me happy. That lets me know we as parents are doing our job in raising you guys right. It makes me happy to see you guys grow up, make smart decisions. That is all the questions. Hey guys, I hope y'all enjoyed that. I hope y'all got a lot out of it. I know I did. Anytime I can sit down with my two girls and they learn something about me and I learn something about them, that is what it's all about. Hey, be sure, like I said, don't freak out about the whole TikTok thing. Hey, if it goes down, trust me, we'll be on other platforms. Hit me up, Billy Visco. I try to stay active on all of them. So you guys can always find me, message me. I hope you guys like this. Definitely subscribe, hit the like button and comment. Tell me what you guys liked about this, what y'all didn't like. I love you guys, all of y'all. Bring it in. Whoa. Dixie to Melio. Melodies in my head like a stereo.